We're going to have a look at three different ways to write VLOOKUP formulas. One is a straightforward simple approach, the second is using the COLUMNS function, and the third is using the MATCH function. Here we have an employee lookup table with the employee ID on the left, and we've got some data down here. You see we've got employee, full name, SSN, department, start date and earnings for each of these employees. And what we're going to do is use a VLOOKUP formula to populate this top table so that whenever we change the data validation drop down, say we change it from 3 to 2, we shall see the corresponding line pulled out at the top. None of the names here are real people. They're all computer generated names. So if you see someone's name that you recognize, it isn't that person. By the way, if you wanted to find out a little bit more about data validation, you should check out my book, Power Tips for Excel, um, that takes you through some data validation tips and tricks. Now I'm going to take you through three different ways. One's a simple way, one uses the column function, and the third uses the match function to simplify how this works. But the first way, the simple way, is actually not the most efficient in this instance. So We'll go through that first, and then we'll check out the column method and the match method. The simple method I refer to is just basically using the VLOOKUP formula straight away. To do that, we'll type in this box, we'll go to cell C5 and put out the full name using the employee ID. We'll go equals VLOOKUP, uh, I can press type out the full formula, open bracket, first thing to do is the lookup value and I will click on B5 uh, but it press also the F4 key to lock this so it doesn't move from column B using the absolute reference for column B comma now the table array will be down here but I, I'm not going to se select the column headings I will just select the data then again press F4 once to block it to absolute reference, comma, the column index which is 2, comma, and then false for exact match. I press enter there and you'll notice that employee 2 is pulled up Lucien Franklin. And what I should be able to do now is copy that across into each of these cells what I'll do is go Control C for copy and Control Alt V because I don't want to overwrite the formatting. So I'm going to do Control Alt V and paste just the formulas. Click OK. Now you see what that's done is it just put the full name in each of these boxes, which we don't want. Instead, I need to go up here and change the column index number from a 2 to a 3. Press a tab. And then for department, I'm going to change it from a 2 to a 4. Press tab again to move right. And then in start date, I need that to be a 5. Press tab. And in earnings, I need that to be a 6. So now we have the lookup table completed using this simple approach but it does mean that you have to manually enter 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 as the column offset. Method 2 uses the columns function which you can see here so it's, the formula is going to end up like this. It's going to be a VLOOKUP with the normal um, standard parameters and then it's going to use the columns with an array here and I'll explain that later with a false at the end for an exact match. So let's start this off. I will go into cell C5, type equals VLOOKUP, open bracket. The lookup value is going to be B5, and I'll press F4. Actually, you just press it once to lock it to B5. That means when I copy it across, it will stay always referencing to B5. Press comma. The table array, I will go down here. And again, select the data only, not the headers. Uh, press Control Shift right, Control Shift down, and that will select 
all the data in my table. Press F4 to lock that to absolute references, comma, and now for the column index number, for full name, I want it to come out with a 2. And what this function columns does is it counts the number of columns in a particular array, and an array is just a group of cells. So what I'd like to say is have the array start at B9 and go up to B C9, so from B9 to C9, but instead of just saying B9 to C9, I'm going to lock it to uh, the column B by inserting a dollar sign there. And so when I copy this across, you'll see what, what you'll see what happens later. Now I'll close that and that defines my array. So dollar B9 to cell C9, comma false for an exact match, tab. So employee four, it has found Denton Q Dale. And now I'm going to copy that, just like last time, into these cells and use Control Alt V to copy and paste the formulas so I don't overwrite the formats. Press OK. And you see that's worked as well. Now let's check out why would that have done that. Well, you see the columns function looks at the range you give it and, and then counts the number of columns in that range. And as you copy this across, you will notice that the range stays fixed at column B, so it stays at B9, but it moves as I copy it right so that what was originally here in column C, as it gets copied across to column D, it moves to D9, and it gets copied across to E, it gets copied, it gets moved to E9. When it gets copied to column F, it changes to F9, and when it gets copied to column G, it moves to a G9. And so effectively what that's saying is, look at the range B9 to G9, which is this range here, and count how many columns are there. So that'd be one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns, six columns. And when it counts six columns, it will give the VLOOKUP formula the right, uh, the right parameter for column index number. Method three uses the match function instead of the columns function to give you the column index number. The match function, let me just type it in here, the match function returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value. So for example, if I wanted to find out where full name was in this array, what I'll do is I'll say equals match, open bracket. I'm going to look up the value full name, comma. And the lookup array will be the data table headings, comma and then I'm going to do an exact match, close brackets, enter. And so you'll see it gives a value of two, which is correct because the first column is not full name. The second column is full name. And in that match formula, I'm going to modify it so that you can see I am going to change this range, B9 to G9, and make it absolute by pressing F4. The reason I do that is because I want to be able to copy this across and have it update the co with the correct range. So I copy that to these cells just as formulas. And you can see two, three, four, uh, that's actually a five and a six. And what it's done is it evaluates the correct column number to use in our lookup formula. So for example, uh, let us now work through the VLOOKUP formula and we'll see why this could be very useful. So I'll type in VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP open bracket, the lookup value in B5, lock that with F4, sorry, the by pressing the key F4. I'll type comma table array I will select from B10 all the way down to G59 
press F4, the key F4, to lock that, comma. For the column index now, I'm going to use the match function. So I type match, open bracket. I'm going to look up C4. So I'm going to look up full name, comma, inside the range that starts from B9 and ends in G9. Lock that to make it absolute references, comma, and zero for an exact match, close bracket, comma, false for an exact match, close bracket, and then tab. And again, I'm going to copy this Control C and select here, Control Alt V to bring up a special, click on formulas, click on OK, and it works, but the reason it works is, uh, in this case, SSN is pulling up the SSN record for employee 4, and it's doing that by VLOOKUP B5 inside the data table, but the column index number here is the formula match D4. So it's looking up D4, which is the social security number SSN. And it's looking it up in this range. So it's going, is it in number one? Nope. Is it in number two? Nope. Is it in position three? Yes. So it says, I found a match. It's in position three, and it's an exact match. And so I will, I will return a number three, and I can show you that if I actually evaluate this function by selecting it in the formula bar and pressing F9, you'll see that Excel calculates it to be a three. And I'll press escape now so I don't make that change permanent. But the same applies to each of these cells. So this will do a match of E4 in this will do a match of F4, this will do a match of G4, and so for example G4 it will look up the word earnings inside this range, it will go is it in position 1, no, is it in position 2, no, is it in position 3, no, is it in position 4, no, is it in position 5, no, is it in position 6, yes it is, and it will return number 6 in the VLOOKUP formula. So if I highlight column index number, you see that the match formula, uh, if I press F9, it evaluates to a six. And so it returns the correct record from column six in this table. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, how can this be handy? Well, instead of having full name here, I'll show you that we can actually just type in full name in that cell, in cell E4, and you see this automatically changes. And we can't do that with method 1 or method 2, because with method 1 you'd have to go in and manually change that column reference, and in, co in method 2 that column reference always stays fixed at number 1, 2, 3, and 4. But with this third method using the match formula, we are able to just type something in there and it will come out. So I'll return it to marketing, sorry, department, D-E-P-A-R-T-M-E-N-T, -E -E press return, and you'll see the department is looked up correctly. So that is a very interesting way, a very good way of using VLOOKUP with the match function, and pretty powerful too. A quick recap now of what we did in this video. We looked at the simple method for completing a VLOOKUP function with exact match. We looked at VLOOKUP with the columns function to count the number of columns. And we use VLOOKUP with the match function to match off column headings. And now you finish watching this 15 minute video, I'd recommend you go straight away to Excel and play around with some VLOOKUP functions and try to insert a few column functions and match functions because that way you'll master them quicker. Alright, have fun!